Hey there, this is Laszlo Mertzal, aka The Tinker Dad. If you're a first time visitor to the channel, here we deal with home automation, home networking, and sometimes with related stuff like the AI by electronics and uh, even a little bit of 3D printing. Regarding today's video, it will be a special one because I made it for a friend who I know for certain is trying to get uh, into DIY home automation. So this tutorial will be an easy one. Uh, it will help you and help him to install a Home Assistant on top of Proxmox. So let's get to it. Obviously the first thing you will need is a working installation of Proxmox. So for starter, here's mine. As you can see, it's a little bit low on resources, but we will still manage. Point is, it would be really nice to run Home Assistant inside an Alexi container, but I'm still figuring that out. For now, we will just use a traditional VM. So for a Home Assistant, there's a prepared VM image we will use, and you can grab it from Home Assistant's homepage. So let's head there. So you go to Home Assistant I.O., then uh, under Installation, you scroll down and you will see a link pointing to alternative installation methods. So you click that one and you will, you will be presented uh, some VM images here. This is the one that you will need for KVM slash Proxmox. So we just grab this file, download it and uh, let's extract it. Once the file has been downloaded, you will need some kind of tool to open it because, well, uh, .xz is not your usual typical zip file. So I just use 7-zip, which is freely available, open source. You can download it uh, easily, install it, and then use it to open uh, the archive file we just downloaded. So inside you will find a single file. This is the VM image that we need. So you just hit extract and uh, extract it to whatever folder uh, you want to. After that, we will have to upload this file to our Proxmox installation. For that, you will need SSH access uh, to Proxmox because we cannot uh, upload it like an ISO file. By default, your Proxmox installation should have SSH access enabled. So you will just need to use your favorite uh, SSH based file copy tool for me, it's WinSCP, to upload the file to Proxmox. So I'm just logging into my Proxmox installation. There we go. I specify my password. And then, uh, yeah, I upload it. By the way, don't worry. Uh, with the root user, I only have access temporarily enabled. Otherwise, you barely touch Proxmox via SSH anyway. So as soon as this is done, I will just disable it. Okay. Point is, now we have the file on Proxmox, so we head back to Proxmox itself and we will create a VM for this. So within Proxmox, we just start the user process of creating a new VM, so click, uh, right click on your uh, Proxmox node, then select create VM and here we will set, uh, set some parameters. So VM ID, you can leave it as it is, you should specify a name like HA tutorial. Uh, you said start at boot, but uh, that is up to you. Then you go to the next section. So OS, do not use any media right now. Other settings are okay. Next one, the system tab. You need to do some changes here. So first of all, you want to set the BIOS to this UEFI one. And also, since it's a UEFI BIOS, you will need to add an additional disk. So for that, you select the storage location. At this point, uh, you can select whatever location is av available for you. This will be a small disk with uh, just a few hundred megabytes, if I remember correctly. But anyway, I select this one and the format uh, should be this one as well. Now we can go to the next tab. Also optionally, uh, you can uh, enable a QME agent. This will uh, be a small addition to your VM, which provides better integration with uh, Proxmox, but this is totally optional. Next, hard disk, you can leave it that way. 
and then next CPU I would suggest uh, providing at least two cores for home assistant other than that you don't change anything next memory uh, two gigabytes is just fine network once again unless you have something specific like uh, different bridge names or whatever then this should be fine finally you confirm it okay here we go we have the VM now but uh, it won't be able to boot because uh, it doesn't it doesn't really have a boot disk so the next thing is uh, we will add our uh, home assistant uh, VM image to this uh, machine so the file is already available on Proxmox so next step you go to the Proxmox console or shell and this is where the magic will happen since our VM image is not yet connected to our VM we need to do that and for that we will need a command so it starts with QM which is a manager command for these VMs we are using within Proxmox then you need to give import disk and then you provide the ID of your VM this is the number that was shown uh, during the creation next you have to specify the path of the VM image so that was under slash root slash yeah this one and then uh, you need to provide the storage location for your VM so you can take a look on uh, your Proxmox node and you will see these uh, storage locations if you have a default installation it will probably uh, local LVM for you for me I have an added uh, ZFSB storage and I use that for larger VMs so I will just uh, provide ZFS uh, or ZFS data one okay this is it and then you need to specify the format and it's like this so as you can see the disk has been successfully imported and now if I go back to here I can see that uh, the disk has been added to the VM so now I just need a couple of tricks so first of all I will get rid of the original disk because why not I don't need it anymore this is the disk the VM was created with so I just first detach it and then this here I can remove it freeing up the space used by it okay cool next one I need to add this uh, new disk we just imported so instead of clicking add you just double click here then you can click add and here we go now it is recognized as a hard disk okay next one we need to add it as a bootable disk because by default the VM will not uh, boot from it it will just keep trying for the empty CD-ROM and it will eventually give up so you go to options and then within options uh, there's this boot order field so double click it and uh, feel free to uh, remove the network one remove the CD-ROM instead add this one uh, you can grab it uh, or drag it to the top if you want to but since it is the only option it should not be a problem okay now click OK and we are ready to boot our VM so let's just do that Let's take a peek on the console where we see it already started booting. Okay, at this point, Home Assistant successfully booted or at least initiated booting, and uh, now you can try to access the machine. So let's just do that and yeah here we go we have a fresh, inst fresh installation of home assistant running on top of proxmox or inside proxmox and pretty much that's it so it was an easy one i told you so right 
Okay, so before closing the video, let me ask you a question. How do you like short tutorial videos like this one? I ask this because you might not know, but uh, from time to time I do tutorial videos based on request when uh, some popular topic comes up or there's some interesting problem to solve. So if you have something in mind, use the comment section and uh, yeah, the only criteria from my side is that uh, obviously it has to match the topic of the channel. So with that one, uh, I will say uh, goodbye. Thanks for watching this video and hope to see you next time next week. Bye.